Hello, get everybody. This is Master Wonder Mage, and I'm playing a CTM map entitled Goliath. This is not my first time uh, to attempt to play this map, however, I haven't gotten very far in it. I attempted to record this before. As it turns out, my microphone was off, so that recording ended up being trashed. Um, rules, probably just the standard. Survive. Yeah. The only thing even vaguely different from the standard is the mention of the emeralds, but it's like, it's exactly like the chapters in Waking Up. Something which I've noticed progressively more in maps since that happened, bonus objectives. Anyways. The in the legendary inspiration is pretty obvious. It's a large map like legendary according to the forum thing. And it was completely necessary to carry them from one chest to the other. I uh didn't keep them with me because that, like I said I've played the beginning of this map before. I know the parkour. The parkour is a bad place. But here I am. I'm g moving unarmed through a cave to get around some lava that was blocking me from a tree, and there are spiders. And there's also parkour over lava. Although this parkour is much more difficult than Legendary's parkour. Because you have to sprint jump everything. I wonder if there's anything preventing you from... Uh... Are you serious? Um, I want to see if I'm going to die before I... Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I'm dead. Darn it. So close. And spoilers, but on the other side, there's something that brings down a sand walkway. So yeah, the legendary. I feel I don't have a problem with this being similar to the first area of legendary. Probably already said that this video, but hey, I'm recursing from last. Time. I've started playing uh, with a phone stopwatch so that I have some idea how long I've been going on. And once again, and once again, I forgot to start it until like halfway to the lava after my first death. So, me. Anyways, I feel like this area is more of a homage to Legendary because while I didn't get very far past this, I did kind of peek into the other areas. And there was no plain resemblance between those areas and Legendary. Gotta punch this. Ah! I was on a roll! You broke my streak. My combo. Um. I will say the lava could be better done, the flowing. I mean, I guess in a way, lava like this would be constantly flowing everywhere in real life, but with lava like this, I wouldn't be standing right next to it in real life, ever. And here I go again. Hi, spiders. Hope you like watching me die. Ah! No, 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 no. You are not a good thing. Arr, oh, God!
He's going to explode, isn't he? Yes! I win! <laughs> God love that phase of Minecraft where a battle with a creeper is a long pitched affair. Oh, you are kidding. Now I'm doomed. Run! Oh, this is bad. Of course, this is the time I get across. Well, he gives me a few nice things at this point. Thought I got more. Thought I remember getting more food than that. Oh well. Ah, lava grid. Excellent. Ooh, I took inventory. <sighs> I would probably be best served by not taking the iron sword since it's kind of valuable and I'm still in much danger. But you know what? I made it to the tree. I'll call that a victory. A victor tree. And I'm back to the cake. I could, in theory, make a... I could, in theory, make a bow, but I don't exactly have arrows. Gotta mine the wood in silence because wood mining requires enormous amounts of concentration. And that pressure plate doesn't actually do anything, but. Oh, right, there's a zombie spawner. Run! Alright, so far so good. Oh, that's nice, I guess. That's very nice. I Food is always appreciated. Um, could have used that a bit sooner, but I'll take them. Armor is also always appreciated, for the record. Armor, I will officially designate a good thing.
armor and food are actually probably some of the best things available on a map like this. Okay, need a crafting table, I think we can all agree. And a crafting table. Next order of business, a pick. Might even make two. Yeah, two is good. Aww. Enjoy. I might just spend the first pick mining like blocks or something. Speaking sort of of which. I want to try to get that TNT that's down here. Okay, this will not go low enough. Didn't help. Okay. <sighs> Someday I'll be replaying this map and I'll figure out how to get that TNT without losing it. I bet. I bet it would work if I came in from the other side or was just like careful not to mind that <sighs> Ooh, huh. Great. I now have one bow shot. My gosh, cake is awful. That didn't actually help. I just tried to eat a piece of coal. Oh, figures. Also, I have no idea how to successfully. I wonder if I could...
can't get the feeling that they probably anticipate this and made it a trap. It's probably... Oh, yep, I goofed. Yeah, this is F. Oh, well, I have a bunch of redstone repeaters. We'll call this a win. Could get the pistons if I'm willing to. Oh, yep, yeah, I broke the bridge. So I can cannibalize this side. Just don't want to cannibalize the other. Okay, this is, by the way, something I haven't tried in my previous attempt. So I may have made a terrible mistake and I just don't realize it yet. That is entirely possible. But I have some random redstone stuff if I ever use it, which, knowing me, I probably won't because I rarely use redstone. So that's probably just a waste that accomplished nothing except to make my bridge somewhat narrower. Uh, okay, bye then. So that area will be... Yeah, now it's only one wide. Okay. Sorry for not talking, I'm... I blame my inexperience with LPing. It's making me inexperienced. And, uh... Yes, I know. I've done episodes before. Doesn't change a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a clueless guy. I'm a guy who likes playing Minecraft and occasionally likes talking to people. As long as I don't have to talk to people when I don't want to. That was way too many blocks. And the only free means of getting blocks, or essentially free means I have get of getting blocks since wood and stone are both limited. Well, stone is very limited seeing as there isn't any. But what I was saying is the only means I have of getting blocks is that doesn't use a scarcest re scarfish resource. 
fish is creeper explosions my mouse scroll wheel wasn't working right there I was trying to do like a scroll play and it didn't work because my scroll wheel was broken oh, don't Alright, so, since I got past that first parkour, which I did in far fewer tri tries than my original L LP, ah! Everything's going smoothly! And I will not let you- What, what, what is- You give me a normal zombie spawner and you feed me babies! What's up with that? Jerk. That being said, I am moving slower than my original time, although that's probably mostly due to me doing things like trying to get all that redstone stuff. Okay, so yes, I do know the general layout of this area. For instance, there's a creeper dropper there. I goofed! But it all turned out for the best in the end. Okay, you know what? I don't like you! Okay, time to retreat. Oh no. I need cake. And by cake I need I mean health. Please tell me that's not lagged. Okay. Lag is the worst thing you could ever see in a map. Because it means you're about to die very suddenly and and ver and there's not much you can do about it. People still coming? Nope. Okay. Um so I believe that place I was on the verge of getting into is the final area in the the final sub area ish thing in the what's it called in the first area the final sub area of the first area and I don't like it memory serves from a week and a half ago when I first tried playing this map it has all sorts of fun things like uh, silverfish um, exploding trees, skeletons the silverfish are really the ones that stand out silverfish are annoying when they have a spawner or something Hi! Great. Great. Just what I wanted. Maybe stuck eating zombie flesh until I get to the next supply chest, although I don't think it's very far away.
Okay, one slice of cake left before I'm on zombie flesh. The stupid hunger effect. Although the hunger... Well, the hunger effect isn't exactly stupid since the only thing it really serves to do is make you not want to eat zombie flesh. Or raw chicken, I guess. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Well, that's one way to make it through the area. Um now to just not step on any obvious traps and I'll be at the intersection and I'll call that an episode that was not how I planned on taking on that area at all by the way blind charging is against my philosophy but skeletons what am I to do oh, they have a sign making fun of you yeah okay and interested to see how it makes fun of you. No chance of this being a trap. No chance of this being. If you fall in this pit, you deserve to die. Well, I don't deserve to die. Neat. Except for, you know, three times. So. Eh. There was one map I played, the painter, where they uh, did a thing where. How do I face? What am I thinking of? It was Eternally Night, that's what I'm thinking of. Pressed a button on my keyboard that get, like, it's kinda like Alt Tab. So, I'll just start digging here while I say my final remarks. This will be back to the initial area. Um. I will uh, conquer that one last room of that last area that I kind of just blindly ran through. And, um. Ah, here I am. What else? I will. Also, pro next episode, I also plan on sort of following the Zestonian tradition of previewing each area before going in. And off screen I'll I'd like to get a base set up fancier than what they have there. All my stuff transferred, etc. All the basic in between episode things. Um really hoping my microphone picks up on this one, although I did check to make sure all the settings were in the right place. So that's it for the first episode of this map. Hope you're oh hi silverfish. Just what I wanted. But you're you're leaving apparently. No, nope, you're coming back. And now you're dead. Silverfish can't get into granite, so that's always nice. But in any case, see you in episode two where I take on one of the Areas at the intersection, either Valor Passage, Ember Mines, or Grove of the Burning Oaks. Also, any in-between episode stuff? Huh, I wonder if there's anything in that cave up there. Don't know if I should make that episode 2 or just kind of check between episodes. Uh, I I want to do it now so that I c so because it would be a viable house location. Eh. Okay, fine. What's going to happen 
is this might be the end of the episode depending on whether there's anything up there if there isn't that'll be my way of saying if the if this is the end of the episode that'll be my way of saying there wasn't anything up there um but if I see anything of interest I'll resume the episode so unless there's a postscript see you next episode oh god <sighs> Bye bye. Hey, ripped off Markiplier. Darn it. All right, here I am. As it turns out, there's a creeper spawner up here and a chest, which I don't think is trapped. I haven't actually figured out how you tell when a chest is trapped or not. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad I came up here because my iron sword wouldn't last forever, and not having to do ooh leather armor as well, not having to deal with. Also, a pork chop, that's food. And also, there's an emerald over there, I guess. I won't mess with that quite yet. Well, I don't, I guess, I don't think I will be. Um, Creeper Spawner will make it a bit less viable to build a house over here. Because I don't want to build a house with a Creeper Spawner in it. So, still deciding what I'll do about my house. But yeah, you can see the emerald box right where my pointer is. Anyways, this was the postscript, I guess, where I found a chest with some combat supplies and a tiny bit of food. So, uh, leather armor for me, and a non-wood sword to go on with. That'll be all for this episode for sure. Anything else will be stuck in the next episode if I do decide to go over to the Emerald Place off screen. Or, I don't know, anything I decide to do. All that will be second episode affairs. In any case. Um. If you're watching this, you are a good person. Good job. Goodbye.